Well, guys, I've uh, lost my legs. All right, first of all, but uh, second of all, the real reason I'm sitting on the floor is because I've been playing Kendama for about a year now, and recently I discovered and purchased one item that has seriously changed the way I've played Dama, and I think it's really motivated me to play more, get better, practice more, and it, it's honestly essential to me now, and I can't recommend it more, and I wanna tell you why. So if I take you in down here, you can see it's this kind of puzzle mat. You can see like, you know, like these puzzle piece things all click together. It interlocks and it's like about, I don't know, what is that? Half an inch of foam. So it's pretty thick, pretty durable, and you can customize it to any size and shape you want. These ones in particular are for like gym equipment or home gyms. People, you know, put out mats if they're doing like weightlifting so they don't bonk them on the floor or whatever. And uh, they've been super great for playing Kendama and I'll tell you why. No damage. Uh, so of course, the first thing is that they are customizable. So you can see I've got like four big mats together here and it takes up a pretty substantial part of my room floor, but that's like great because uh, coming down here, getting old. But yeah, so I, I fit it to take up a lot of the floor in my room just so I have more room and freedom to play Kendama. But the first thing is that they're customizable so you can put out any shape. If you got stuff in the way, you can make like an L-shaped play Kendama over. And obviously that's a, that's a good thing when it comes to customization because if I was just trying to pitch like one giant mat, there's a good chance it doesn't fit in a lot of people's areas. But why is it good to have a mat at all? You might be asking, oh, why don't you just go play somewhere with carpet? And while I do have a room with carpet in my house, it's not where I want to play Kendama. I want to play Kendama in my room, which has a hardwood floor. And that's why these mats, like, really, I feel they've motivated me to play more. Like, maybe I'm just part of this super lazy generation, but if I had to grab my Dama and leave my room, go to a different room, and set up camera if I want to film tricks or whatever, it's just, it's... It's too much effort and I just feel like playing in my room. So I used to, you know, hold the Dama like over my bed. So if I like dropped it, it would just fall onto the bed. But you can't practice properly that way and you can't have the Thomas swinging around all over the place. So I needed a way to play over the floor. And these mats have given me that. So now I have that motivation to actually play in my room. And I feel like I've been picking the Dama up a lot more often. So that's really the first reason why I can't recommend these enough. It'll seriously get you playing more and be more active and you'll just enjoy it more. And I know I already mentioned like customization in terms of sizing and fitting it to a room, but what about customization in terms of colors? Now, of course I have it all blacked out just because they all came in black. I got six tiles all in the same pack, so I didn't really have the option to color customize. But if you've seen, there's plenty of color options that these come in. And depending on what your room looks like, if you want it to match or look a certain way, you can do that with these tiles. I actually reached out to a good buddy of mine, Flurry Mac plays Dama on Instagram, and I got him to send me a little photo of his setup, which you'll see right here, because as you can see, he's got the tile setup and he's got the black and white color combo, which I think looks super dope. And it kind of inspired me to like brainstorm some other ideas. So I was thinking like a black and yellow, maybe two Bumblebee like would look kind of cool. Or if you have, you know, like a favorite sports team, like you like FC Barcelona and you do like blue and purple and gold or something. And yeah, any of those options or anything you can come up with, you can customize this to like fit your room or whatever you want it to look like. So it's not just like a mat that's, you know, for playing Kendama and then you want to hide it later, but it, it goes with the room and it lightens it up. And not only does it motivate you to play Dama, it looks cool. If you wanted to go for like the classroom vibe and learn your shapes, letters, numbers, and animals as you play, that's an option too. But uh, in all seriousness, I seriously do recommend getting some Kendama tile mat foam things. I know I said this, but I'll say it again as we close out here. Playing over a mat and getting a mat like this has seriously changed the way I play Dama and the enjoyment I have for it. So it's it's the one thing I recommend. If, if you have a Dama and you're playing, the next thing you need to get is mats like this. I'm sure if you Amazon, Google, or Walmart.com, whatever, whatever you want to shop at, if you just look up like foam tile mats, you'll be able to find them. And uh, yeah, you can be on your way to Kendama fun time. 
Something else that may be good to mention if you want to pick something like this up for yourself is you'll notice that the ones I have here are like textured, like they have these bumps in them and you know, it's like part of the design or whatever. But uh, I find that sometimes if the Tama drops, that's like the ball part, if, if you don't know, if it drops onto the mat because of these like little bump things, it could like bounce all over the place. So you might want to steer towards like a more flat surface. I know some of the tiles have like really flat tops and that might just keep your balls from bouncing around, but that's just a little thing. So with that, I can get off the floor and I can sign you off. Again, I hope you found this interesting. Maybe you got some motivation for how you want to create your own little Dama Dojo. Thank you again to Flurry Mac for sending me that photo. I'm really glad I could show you guys how cool his custom setup looks and maybe inspire some looks of your own. And with that, I appreciate you checking this out and I will see you in the next video.